Okay, so today I'm working on my DC bus bar. I have, over some period of time, printed on my old 3D printer this, which is basically, this one is a MIDI fuse holder. So what it will be is top and bottom we're going to have um, bus bars, so there will be a negative and a positive. They are going to be made out of some 6mm copper bar, 6 by 25 there and there, which should be able to handle a reasonable amount of current. So that's our negative bus bar. This is our fuse okay, so we'll come from the bus bar here. Um, and these will be fuse terminals on here, so each one will take a fuse, there's four outputs. Um, then right at the end we're going to have some big M8 bolts which are going to act as interconnects because I've got another one that's actually sat on the printer right now that is a little bit bigger that takes a mega fuse, so it actually has the same dimensions this way, but it's a little bit longer that way, and basically these, these M5 bolt holes are replaced with M8 bolt holes and then obviously that's moved a bit further away to uh, accommodate mega fuses. So first thing I need to do is cut down the copper bus bars to fit in the little recesses that I've done and then we will be drilling and tapping all the holes within it and then we'll be able to fit um, brass bolts. So I've got uh, M8 and M5. Uh, it's all brass hardware. Um, so yeah, let's measure up the measure up the pockets. Um, I can't remember what they're actually set at. 100, 135mm. Um, I think that's calculated basically based on spacing of everything so it's not that is all defined by the position of these bolt holes and the gaps between them and then the two on the end and everything so that's why I couldn't actually tell you what it is so I've never actually set it. So. 135. So, get a trusty sharpie, and then you can transfer to that, and then do that, and then we'll cut that up on the chop saw. And then fit it in. So let's go over to the chop saw and get those cut. We'll cut that one, a little bit negative, and a little positive, and then we can get on with drilling the holes. So in. Make sure it's all nice and square. We'll check it's in the right place. And then right. Up. 
تمام There we go, so yeah. Um, it's cut. So the fuse link goes across like that and then take connections over. So what we obviously need to do now is drill and thread the six holes in each one for M8 and eight. M5. What I'm going to do is turn it upside down and uh, see we can use the holes in the holder, the you know, plastic bit here, to mark out where all of the holes are. So I'm just going to drill through each one of those with a, a, an 8mm drill bit and then 5mm drill bits. Hello. Okay, so yeah, obviously line it up and then take it off hammer drill because nobody needs hammer drill. Literally just a nice indentation in each one of those and then the same marked up so we can take them over to the drill and drill them out and then I'll do the other one but obviously we'll have to move that slightly and put it on the edge of the bench because you see it's not flat. Side easy because these are all actually in a, in a straight line, the negative straight, whereas the positive are offset. So let's go and use the big drill and get these drilled out. Okay, so let's set up so we're going to use because it's the right size for the five. M5 is 4.2 mil drill, apparently is the right size for the tap. So if we drill through with that and then we can open up the M8. And this hasn't got enough space to actually get Right. 
What's this? It's tight. That's on top. Hopefully those are straight, we'll have to clean up the holes, obviously we can't have that.
okay so uh, now have a nice shiny new 7mm seven mil, seven mil drill bit um, clamped up and we shall drill those holes. So you go, here those holes drilled, and we'll go off and tap them now. So you have drilled out the holes. It's time to tap them.
So, M8 tap, I'll put a bit of. Let's put a bit around the outside. Make sure we're starting with the right one. Okay, that's the big tap. Okay. 
Okay, so back to mount our bus bars. Put them in there. And now, obviously, we have the Going easier than that. Let's try that one. There you go. That's the because it threads in. Oh. Maybe it doesn't. Let's just mic it through that way. Mates in that one, and then just went in one way better than the other. I think it's that way. Five studs in. Those ones, and then four left to go. And if you can spot the deliberate mistake, you can put this in upside down so there's no holes to go.
we go. Those back up. And there we go, ready to pop some fuses on and wire in the system. Quite happy with that. Um, I guess on uh, end there, and there will be another one building a bigger version of this that takes the mega fuses. Um, so thanks for watching.